apology and I'm one of the people that owes an apology and there was a time I remember in we box everything and pack everything in real life and save it for speeches at a funeral and for me is that we hope that the person that we're speaking to can hear us but we don't know so for me why do we save all this time when we could have told this person what I'm about to say because we only imagine what happens on the other side no one knows if there's even the other side we live in hope based on our religions and our beliefs that they are on the other side listening but for me it's like why when are we ever going to learn to say what we feel when we feel it at that time chances are 80% of people in this room haven't seen Zahara in months but we flew and drove from everywhere in the world and made the effort because she's gone and it's not because we didn't know what she was going through even when before she went to hospital so for me I'm big on telling the person how I feel at the time and I never run out of I love you, I care, are you okay? And with Zahara, I just want to quickly say, tell you guys how I met her. I met her before she recorded an album. I met her, she was basking at a restaurant in East London. And she always liked to tell the story, which I was the first person to give her a paper note in her basket. And I had a stretch of endurance. And the only part I wanted was when she went, King Lady King, did the top, and I go, Pinda Foot. King Lady Ring, did the top, and it's Pinda Foot. I tried to call up as a new friend, and then that song was a hit to me before she even recorded it and I guess that's the song that they discovered her with and I knew from that time and I, even that day I said if I was a record executive I would take this girl but then as fate would happen she became one of the biggest superstars that we have the other day I posted something about how we have failed her as an industry, as friends, and we have failed her and we owe her an apology and I'm one of the people that owes her an apology and there was a time I remember in, I was hosting the Summer Awards and I made a joke about her drinking and stuff and only later in years you realize what you say to people, how you make people feel, is very important, how you make people feel. And I learned my lesson because I took it for granted as a joke. And you don't know how much you hurt people. And I realized later that I've hurt her. And luckily, we had time on earth to reconcile and become friends again. But still, she went through a rough time. Where was so busy? No way. Where were we? No way. When she, when we could have helped and said, Chomi, you need help on APCMT, we are carrying on with our lives. And we need to internally apologize to her and say, we are sorry, we can do better. What are we learning from Zahara's story is to do better. Stop making fun of other people's downfalls. It's in favor. It's in favor. It's in favor. And here I am now standing as if I was there throughout. I wasn't there throughout. So, the biggest lesson I've learned, and I hope everyone in this room learns, don't ever laugh or make a joke on someone else's downfall. If you can't help, shut up. If you can't contribute positively, shut up. The same people on social media that keep on saying, We've lost an icon. Did you treat her like an icon? I don't think so. 
Did you treat her like you are scared of losing her? I don't think so. But we can change. We can do better. Moving forward, anyone who's listening to this, let's do better. In the name of Sahara, let's do better. Let nobody, whether famous or not famous, go through hell if you can help. And help does not mean just money to. Help is a talk, is a call, is a, are you okay? Can I give you a hug? And stuff like that. Let's do better. In the name of Sahara, Sahara, we are sorry. May your soul rest in peace. Please forgive us. And may your soul keep thriving and thriving wherever you are. Your dreams have not ended. They've just ended on earth. But wherever you are, Sahara, Please keep shining and forgive us. We love you. Thank you.